cup, 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 cup. Hi guys, welcome to Colors. This is me, Billy. And I'm Charlie. And we're going to be interviewing Paul. Right? Paul is the director and he organises all the events at Afro Noye. And he's done it for a long time. So I want to ask you, how does it feel to have that much responsibility? Quite scary actually and quite daunting and um, in the beginning when you know crowds were a couple of hundred I started working with the organisation in 1999, wow. a long time ago that yeah. Is long isn't it? And then um, at that time you know we had a couple of hundred people so you didn't really have that kind of worries but you know the way it's grown and the way it is now and so, you know it's quite daunting to know mm. that I'm responsible basically for that many people so yeah I'm almost like uh, I enjoy it but I'm always like I'm just you're always to, on edge wherever you are definitely like, do, you think yeah, it's yeah, yeah. do you think it's like hard work getting everyone organised like I think that um like in the beginning, I literally, uh, it was like me and another person, the guy who founded it, Kenny Murray. Oh, right. and, and we used to just do everything by ourselves, literally, you know, like I was the trader's manager, I was the event manager, I was like, just put a different hat on and just pretended like I, I, yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah. like you guys. I, I had quad, quad, what is it, for four, two? Yeah, yeah. People <laughs> sort of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, now I, I just get I've built up such a team of people over the years, trusted people that work voluntary, work yeah. for low pay. Do you think it was hard time to trust with people though, because like obviously they yeah. let you down. They do let you down and I give I always give people an opportunity and because I want to employ local people as well. Yeah. Local it's people. Like, you know, yeah, it's a heart yeah. of it, you know, our, our MCs from, from the community. Loads of the organisations that are showcasing their workshops and stuff like that from the community, loads of people from backstage. Mm. Um, so I really want that to be like the focal point of the festival because yeah. to showcase what Liverpool is. But then get everyone like. together, isn't it? Yeah, and then you couple like that with the people that are coming outside of Liverpool. People, I've got people from London, from Birmingham, yeah. from Sussex. Do you know what? I, I think it's nice that it's, you do this event because I think it's amazing. It brings everyone together. All cultures culture. around. It brings yeah. everyone together yeah. as a unity. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so what it, inspired you to like, you know, do this? I think that um, in the beginning it was just like, um, as I said, a very small audience that was predominantly sort of maybe white, middle, middle age kind of audience because they were yeah. into African music probably before anyone else because they'd probably seen it when they were travelling Africa and stuff like that. Yeah. But then when it came, um, it was over in Birkenhead Park and when we brought it back to Liverpool, Sefton Park was the ideal place because what I wanted to create is exactly what you say, somewhere... And it's a big space, I know I was going to say that, But yeah. a fest, this, nice. this Sefton Park's got all different communities, it's got a black community around it, it's got you know, teachers, professionals, you know, yeah. young people, old people, everything is around very that. very local, it's family events as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, so if you bring that all together, that's what you get, is that big melting pot of this amazing audience that... that yeah. I've got friends from London who come up and they just say, I and wish we had time. this in London, yeah. you know, and there's not many... And they've got everything in London, do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's, it's actually like nice for them to want something that we've got, which is fantastic for the city. Yeah, yeah. So one, one last question: What you like? What do you want to try and achieve? Like moving forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. forwards. Yeah, everyone always asks me that question, and what I always say is that what we have always done is because we're a free festival and cost funding so limited. We're supported by the Arts Council, we're supported by the City Council, but yeah. we also have to raise a lot of money on ourselves. So what we try and do is implement a new area or a new thing every year okay. one because what I found in the 25 years that this festival has been around there's probably been about 100 festivals that have disappeared because you know they've tried to double their well, like, but, capacity yeah. or yeah. try to spend too much money on programming so it's all about balance, it? all about balance yeah. and living within yeah. your means you know what yeah, I mean? and that's what we try to do so well, you've done an amazing job Great. well done to oh, you thank I love you very it, much. honestly so like where would we go if we wanted to find more about like Africa and Williams? Well like there's that. so much you know information on our website, on our Facebook official, website's africaroye.com, mm. um, Facebook is um, Africa Oye official, um, we've also got a Twitter account. Um, and email is info at africaroye.com if anyone wants to get involved or you know there might be a young artist because that's the other thing we've introduced is about oh yeah introducing which new tribe new artists. Anyway, local I, I, artists i tried to do that as well but i missed the thing. Yeah, yeah yeah so that's another thing it gives you know local artists opportunities to play on the main stage with international artists so that's something we want to continue encourage people to do that but also the main thing is you know keep the festival free buy a t-shirt donate I love it. you know anything you know pin badges you know anything you can do friends of oea um because we want to continue tell a friend to tell a friend yeah, yeah. You know. but you know if you think about it, if everyone just put a pound in you know, we probably had 40,000 people there yesterday. Do you know, can I just say something? Do you know what? One thing I don't think anyone will ever not 
قومیت به خصوص دهان میجن چون نمیگه سایز اون فنسوتی تو اونی اه اونستلی So yeah, just continue to support the festival and uh, we'll hopefully continue to deliver for the people of Liverpool. Oh, thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you so much. That's it for today, guys. Catch up next time on Colors. On Colors. <laughs>